So Samsung, when you have 5.1, takes your privacy to a new level. So when it comes to lock screen notification, earlier you only had the option to either hide notification or show notification. But now you can actually choose from which particular apps you want to show notification on the lock screen. So let's say you have two WhatsApp, maybe one for your business and one for your personal work and some of the other personal apps. So you can choose to show notification from WhatsApp business rather than showing notification from the rest of the other apps. So today's video is about some of the features that came out in the Samsung One UI 5.1. Now I got this update around 10 days back and it was a huge update that made small little changes to almost each and every section in the entire UI. But I'm only showcasing the ones which I believe are useful and which I'm taking into everyday use. And of course, there are some features which are exclusive to S23 and 23 Ultra. So just in case you have updated your phone and you don't get some of the features, it simply means that your hardware is slightly outdated. So let's continue with the video. The next up we have is something called eye comfort shield now samsung calls it's eye comfort shield other companies call it the night mode or the reading mode but the basic idea is that you make your display slightly warmer so that it's more comfortable to read in low light or during night so what samsung has done here is that you can first of all choose the amount of warmth you want in your display you can choose it as per your liking and the best part is that you can schedule when this mode to get activated or deactivated so in my case i have like set the time from 7 pm to 6 am and now without me doing anything or activating this mode manually it gets activated in the background and it deactivates in the background automatically the next small little change that came in is in the modes and routines section so modes and routines are actually same as what they were before but now it's just that you can use a different wallpaper for your lock screen and on your home screen so now whenever you look at your phone you come to know that which mode you are actually in i don't use any of these features but just in case you are someone who use modes uh, a lot so this feature will really come very handy for you our next important feature they have added in this update is for those people who take a lot of photos from their smartphone especially using the pro mode so what they've added here is called expert raw for that you need to download a separate expert raw app from samsung store once you have done that it will give you more control over your camera so first of all now you can save images in both jpeg and raw it will give you more control over night shots and also if you are into astrophotography then also this feature is going to come really handy honestly speaking i'm not into that sort of uh, expert raw photography or pro photography uh, but just in case you are someone like that you are definitely going to love this next important feature that came in with this update is in the form of battery budget so just in case you are in the samsung ecosystem like you are using a samsung note on an ultra you are using a samsung watch and you are using a samsung earbuds then you can keep a track of battery percentage on all these devices into a single widget in case everything is connected to your smartphone. Uh, I think this fee this widget is going to come really very handy, but the catch here is that you need to be using Samsung One UI skin for this widget to work. This widget doesn't work with the Nova launcher, 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 or any of the third party launchers, but nothing to disappoint about. My last video was about a home screen customization where I created my own battery widget. You can take some inspiration for that. And maybe if I have time, I'll create a battery widget for you so that everything works as intended using the KWGT. Make sure to subscribe for that. Okay. A next small and a very useful change that came in is introduction of um, screenshot toggle in the notification panel. So by default, if you pull down a notification panel, you will not see this toggle. So you have to manually add it to the main panel. Uh, it's not really a big deal taking a screenshot. You can always do that by pressing the volume key, and, uh, volume down key, and a power button. But having that toggle and accessing all those features uh, is like very convenient when it comes to taking a screenshot now keeping aside all the features which i just told you there are some features which are exclusive to s23 and 23 ultra like if you have any image on your smartphone you can easily cut out a portion of that image or maybe you are watching a video you can easily pause the video and cut out a portion of an image from that still frame so anyway that is something related to hardware but anyway these are like some of the very useful features that i am taking into everyday use do let me know what are your favorite features in the comment section? Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.